Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Media Raptor, and I am back with another movie review. And you guys, I am so excited to talk about this movie. You see, guys, I'm not sure if you know by now, but I'm a massive comic nerd. Big shock. And you know what one of my all-time favorite comic book characters is? Deadpool. He is just witty, he's funny, he's action-packed, he's crass, he's violent, he's everything you want in a funny comic book character. And you know what? When they, when, and I've been wanting them to make a movie off of him for so long. Animated ones don't count. Stuff like Hulk vs. Wolverine or the um, spectac uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Like Those are awesome, but they don't count. And those are more cameo appearances. So when I finally heard that Fox was going ahead and making a Deadpool movie, I was psyched. And when I heard it was going to be rated R, I got even more pumped up. You guys have no idea how excited I was for this movie. Excuse me. So when I finally got a chance to go see it in theaters, I sat down eagerly, watched the entire thing, and... Holy sh**. This was awesome. I'm not lying, you guys. This is not only my all-time favorite superhero movie. This thing beat Watchmen. This is not only my favorite superhero movie of all time, it is easily one of my all-time favorite movies of all time. It is f***ing AWESOME! In every regard of the word. It is borderline flawless. And you know what? I am so glad we had to wait so long to get a Deadpool movie because they made it perfect. And no, this is not me overreacting. This is not me going to come back later and say it was good, but it had flaws like stuff like Age of Ultron or what was that other movie? I don't know. There have been some movies which I've seen and then did reviews on where I'm like, this was amazing. But then all of us like a while later, I came back and I'm like, yeah, it wasn't that good. This isn't one of those. This is straight up an awesome movie start to finish, and I loved every second of it. So, let's talk about maybe this film's strongest point. It's writing. You guys have no idea how smart this movie is. From the jokes, to the fourth wall breaks, to the references to Green Lantern, to the X-Men Origins Wolverine movie, to the comics, to the fact, to both the X-Men franchise and in the reboots, such as First Class, Days of Future Past. Like, they call out, and Deadpool comes out and says he doesn't understand which professor they're going to, if it's Stuart or McCoy, because these alternate universes, alternate timelines, I mean, really confuse him. Come on, guys, that is awesome. Even Bob from Hydra shows up. They don't say from Hydra, but like when they see each other, he's like, Bob? And everyone in the theater just died laughing. You guys, this movie is awesome. And this is kind of me jumping from writing to editing a little bit, because it kind of is an editing technique. But you know what's the one thing I hate in superhero movies? When you waste too much time with their origin story. That was one of my big problems with The Amazing Spider-Man, is we spent so much time just building up his care, like just building up to him becoming Spider-Man. Granted, I liked the fact that they made him much more relatable and very human. Like they, and I'm not saying that Andrew Garfield wasn't a bad actor, and I don't know why I got to that, but they made Peter Parker in those movies very likable and very relatable. And I love the fact that they did that. What I didn't love is the fact that they took so long for him to finally become Spider-Man. Um, yeah. The thing that the Deadpool movie did great, and, you know what, I'm going to be giving out a lot of spoilers in this review, so, yeah. What they did great is the movie starts out in the middle of an action sequence. Literally in the middle of an action sequence. And then partway through, Deadpool starts, like, it goes into slow motion. Deadpool starts talking, and it cuts back to before he's Deadpool. Then, cuts back. And it literally just keeps cutting back from this action fight scene to when they can take a break for a second, and then everything stops, and Deadpool starts telling you more about his past. That is genius, okay? 
That is one of the best ideas for an origin story I have ever seen in a superhero movie. And guys, it was fantastic. Oh man, I'm just freaking out here. I loved this movie so much. But all like there is not a single joke or a single pun actually which doesn't make you laugh or even but doesn't make you at least smile hard. All the jokes were making me laugh. All the references were absolutely fantastic. The fourth wall breaks were some of the best I've ever seen from Deadpool. And I've read a lot of Deadpool comics, guys. And I'm just coming out and saying that this movie had some of the best fourth wall breaks ever. They even had Deadpool comics in Deadpool's apartment at one point, just in the background. Like, little references to stuff like that. They had a Deadpool action figure that was the X-Men Origins Wolverine one. Right after he says, but that wasn't the worst mistake in my life. Like, just stuff like that is absolutely fantastic and makes this movie so funny and so great. And the new characters, such as Ajax, Angel Dust, uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and Colossus, they're great. Granted, uh, Angel Dust I was kind of just sort of there, but she didn't really have... She wasn't really that important to the plot, but she was still... A good villain, villain at least, and Ajax or Francis, as Deadpool continues to constantly call him. Man, I have never hated a guy so much in a movie, and I could not wait for him to die. And when Deadpool killed him, it was awesome. So the writing is amazing; like the writing is top notch. What about the acting? Every single actor pulls off a fantastic showing. I don't think there was a bad actor in this entire movie. Like, literally, all the actors gave it their everything. And you can tell that the actors like Ryan Reynolds, TJ Miller, and the actor... I don't remember the others. They're the only two big names I remember. My bad. You can tell that they went in and just had fun. In fact, they had so much fun that it actually originally got an X rating and they had to cut it down. But the X rating is going to be released on DVD... Well, on Blu-ray at least, so... Hey, I can't wait to see that. But all the actors do amazing with their characters. So really, that's all I have to say about the acting, because the acting's fantastic. Special effects, this is where the movie shines. All the blood, all the action, and all the gore is some of the best effects I have seen in a long time. And this movie didn't have a, like, a massive, massive budget. It had like a 150 million, I think. Could easily be wrong on that. But it had a pretty low budget considering, well, well, compared to other superhero movies, and yet it did fantastic. The costumes looked great. The, uh, all the blood, all the slow motion, all the CG explosions, everything looked awesome. The soundtrack, I need to give a shout out because the soundtrack took a, took a page from Guardians of the Galaxy. It has some awesome songs, which I downloaded the soundtrack just so I could be jamming out to it on my own, guys. It is an awesome, awesome soundtrack. And they actually have the Deadpool rap by Team Headkick from when the video game was released. And they re-edited it, and but they re-recorded it for the movie, and they changed it around. It is so awesome, you guys. Go look it up. It's on YouTube. And I was laughing the whole way through. Uh, camera work was uh, was really good. Lighting was perfect. Uh, have I missed anything? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Okay, guys. Now here comes the part I need to get serious for a minute. Deadpool is a fantastic movie. It's borderline flawless, and I love every second of it. It is not a kid's movie in any regard. It is not meant for anyone under the age of 18. If you have kids, if you are easily offended, if you don't like gore, if you just don't like violence, if you don't like crude language, if you don't like... some really racist jokes, don't go see this movie. Uh, parents, if you're watching this, or if you're a parent who watches my series and you're watching this, if your kid asks you to go see Deadpool, don't. Alright, I don't mean to be like Captain Buzzkill here, but 
this is not a film that's appropriate for kids. And if you're one of those parents who thinks, oh, it's a superhero movie, let's go take our kids to it. Dude, do you know anything about Deadpool? Okay, I'm glad that's done. So, re re recommendations. Can I recommend Deadpool? Oh yeah, I can totally recommend Deadpool, you guys. Deadpool scores four raptor claws out of four without even trying, okay? I could easily kick this thing up, like, scale up to 20 raptor claws, and it would still guess, like, it would still not even be worth, it would still get 20 raptor claws, and it would still have plenty more room if I had to raise that bar even higher. You guys, I could set this thing up to, I don't know, 187 and a half raptor claws, and Deadpool would score 188 raptor claws out of 187 and a half. That is how awesome it is. If you're an adult, if you like superhero movies, if you like R-rated action films, if you like comedies, if you like Deadpool, go watch this movie. It is worth your time, it's worth your money, and dang it, I cannot wait for May 10th when this thing comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. I am buying it on Blu-ray the day it comes out, and that really hurt. I just kept hitting my leg there. Ah, that really hurt. And you guys, that's all I have to say about it. Go watch it. And until next time, this is the Meteor Raptor saying keep cool, and I will see you Dino Dudes around. Later.